full disclaimer, in this video, I'm really quiet because I didn't want to shatter everybody's ears testing a new mic. Well, it's a cool fall night. Here I am with my delicious, nutritious, basic winter drink. <sighs> Pumpkin spice, and that's an extremely common theme in the fall. You go to the store and you see everything in the store has to do with pumpkin, whether it be coffee creamer or pop tarts or even bleach are all pumpkin spice flavored. And that really inspired me to delve into a pumpkin spice episode. Pumpkin spice is actually just cinnamon, pumpkin, nutmeg, and cloves. This whole time, I thought it was some special pumpkin spice gods yeah and to kick it off we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna pumpkin spice things up today mm. or maybe you can't smell it but that has a delicious pumpkin aroma to it so I thought to myself what can I cook that's Pumpkin, obviously pumpkin pie, one. Uh, pumpkin cookies, two. We're gonna be doing a lot of cheating today because I'm not a baker and I'm not the expert. So, I don't know if we have enough flour to make all of these things, but we're gonna try. Like I said, we're gonna be cheating a lot today. I've got this Oreo pie crust that we're gonna use instead of making our own pie crust. And Oreo sounds a lot better. Sugar, baking soda, nutmeg, brown sugar, ground cinnamon, whole cloves because the ground cloves were out of stock, and corn starch, of course the flour, and the black pepper, which we'll see. The most important ingredient of all, 100% pure pumpkin can, because you would not be able to get enough from like three or four pumpkins to make everything that we're making today. Cool. I want to start with the pumpkin pie. So, the ingredients that I already didn't bring out, I'm going to show you three large eggs and heavy whipping cream, some salt, and half a teaspoon of ground ginger, my favorite ingredient. And lastly, we need some milk. So because I didn't have any of the ground cloves left in stock at the store, I bought whole cloves and we're gonna have to grind it ourselves. To start with the pumpkin pie, we're gonna start with the filling of the pie because our crust is already done. We're gonna start with a large mixing bowl, the pumpkin, three eggs, and brown sugar together until combined. With a nice mess on the counter. That's one. It's two. That's three. Lastly, we need 250 grams of our brown sugar. So let's beat this sh mm. That looks pretty good. So now we're gonna add the cornstarch, salt, cinnamon, ginger, nutmeg, cloves, pepper, cream, and milk. But we need to grind the cloves first. An eighth of a teaspoon in. Tablespoon of cornstarch. Half a teaspoon of salt. One and a half teaspoons of ground cinnamon. Hey, wanna do the cinnamon challenge? <laughs> do we have vanilla? Oh, we do have vanilla. Now we'll do the vanilla challenge. One and a half teaspoons of ground cinnamon. That's one, that's two, and three. Half a teaspoon of ground ginger. Bust it open. Smells like sushi. Ground nutmeg. I had so much trouble finding this. I don't know why it was sold out everywhere. Everyone, I guess, is using nutmeg to make their pumpkin pies that they're also baking to that. Quarter teaspoon. Bam. I love nutmeg. An eighth of a teaspoon of black pepper. The secret ingredient. Eighth of a teaspoon. One cup of heavy cream. Oh, that's thick. But I'm dummy thick. And I and finally, quarter cup of milk. It says to beat vigorously until combined. Oh, our soup. Yes, sir. This is some thickums. But I'm dummy thick. Mm. Mm. It says the filling will be a little thick, but this is watery as all hell. I 
And now to preheat the oven to 375. Here's our Oreo crust, so now I'm gonna fill it about three quarters of the way. That's like three quarters. This is such a weird dichotomy of orange and black. Mind eyes. So, it's gonna be in there for like an hour. In the meanwhile, we're gonna prepare our cookies. 315 grams of flour. One teaspoon of baking soda. Caked. Teaspoon of ground cinnamon. And half a teaspoon of ground nutmeg. 114 grams of butter. Never made cookies from scratch before. 50 grams granulated sugar. And the ground cinnamon, five grams. Now I gotta beat this. Melted butter? No, it's not. Yes, sir, there we go. 125 grams of pumpkin. One egg. And vanilla. Now we gotta combine all of these. We're gonna slowly mix in the flour mixture until it is all combined. Oh my god. Oh, my arm's getting tired. Oh, I literally wanna die now. This is the pain of not having an electronic mixer to do it for me. It do be smelling decadent. Oh, I didn't think it would be this hard to do this. So it says to store it in the fridge for about an hour until it's hard enough to roll in your hands. It's already pretty damn hard, so we'll throw it in there anyway. See you in an hour. All right, it's been an hour, so we're gonna take it out of the oven. <clears throat> So we have to let this cool for about three hours. It's looking pretty solid, not gonna lie. We'll see. So our dough's been chilling for about 30 minutes and I think it's pretty good to go. It was already really solid. Now it's like chunks. Oiled foil. Be responsible and use a baking sheet. Unfortunately, I do not have one. I'm gonna give it a good spray. Now we're going to take our dough Throw them into balls, however size you like. Oh, that's a lot. <laughs> We're gonna roll our dough in granulated sugar and just place it right on there. This is gonna be a while. So our oven is preheated now. You smell freaking good though. My arm is so tired. So now we're gonna throw these in the oven for like 10 to 12 minutes. Our oven's like at 350 degrees. The cookies are in the oven. Pumpkin pie is cool. Pumpkin pie is cooling. The final thing that we're gonna bake. Damn it. The final portion that we're gonna be making today is our pumpkin bread. Bread. We're gonna combine flour, pumpkin pie spice, baking soda, and salt in a bowl. So 250 grams of flour. Wow, I barely have enough. 256. One teaspoon of cinnamon, half a teaspoon of ginger, and half a teaspoon of nutmeg. Teaspoon of baking powder, half a teaspoon of salt. Now we're gonna toss this together. In a medium bowl, we want 375 grams of canned pumpkin puree. All right, I'm literally scraping the bottom of the barrel and I was able to get 240 grams out of 350, which isn't close, but it's what we got to work with. 125 mils of vegetable oil, two large eggs, 300 grams of granulated sugar. I 
that's a lot of sugar. I mean, look at this mountain of sugar. So we're gonna mix this puree together. Nice and smooth. Chef curry with the pot boy. This is a very sugary mixture. Combine it with, oh, our flour. There we go. Oh yeah, the flour, the power. This is where an electric mixer would come in handy. That was super easy. Now we get a nine inch by five inch loaf pan. And we're just gonna, we're just gonna pour it in. Yes, sir, there we go. Our pan here is full. We're gonna throw it in the oven as soon as our cookies are done. However, our cookies are taking quite some time. I don't know if the oven's just not hot enough, but. Well, we're gonna throw it in there anyway for 45 to 60 minutes. These cookies. Now, I'm not gonna lie to you. I would never lie to my dear audience. This was a complete disaster. <laughs> it, uh, it didn't flatten, for one. They're also hard as a rock because I left them in there for so long because I thought they would flatten. I had two of them and I have very low standards, so they weren't the worst things in the world, but these are definitely not cookies. They are edible pumpkin rocks. Yeah. Really crunchy. I did give my full disclosure that I'm not a baker. Honestly, I think I might have put too much flour or because the butter wasn't at room temp. That's why the cookies didn't really turn out like cookies. I will redeem myself with this pumpkin bread that's in the oven right now. It smells wonderful in here, decadent in here. It's looking real good. It looks uh, straight up like a loaf of bread that you would find at a baker's, a baker's store. Bacon. Oh yeah, this, this right here is what I'm talking about. I'm gonna get a slice right now that it's cooled down. Woo! <laughs> now look at that. Might not have a future with cookies, but I just might have a future as a bread baker. Look at that. Nice and crunchy on the outside. Moist, soft on the inside. Wow. I'm so happy this came out so good. This is incredible. This is perfection. This has been one of my favorite things that I've made. Wow. It's almost as good as my mom's banana bread, which is next level. This is great. If only you could have a virtual piece. That is really good. <laughs> wow. That was like, a complete 180 from going from this to this. That's incredible. You know, I'd be lying if I said I didn't want to try and sneak a taste of this before putting it in the fridge overnight. So, that's exactly what I'm gonna do. All right, it didn't fall apart. Let's give it a shot. This Oreo pumpkin pie tastes exactly like a pumpkin pie. Well, I guess I did it. And it looks like it too. If I didn't know that the crust was Oreo, bro, I would think you burnt it. <laughs> Knowing that it's Oreo, bro, hurts. Mmm, lovely consistency. Damn, it really do be looking perfect. I redeem myself from the cookies. <laughs> the pie tastes exactly like a pumpkin pie. Yeah. It's like exactly like the Trader Joe's pumpkin pie. Yeah. <laughs> so I guess that's a dub. That's I was on the money. <laughs> <laughs> that is elite. Damn, bro. Damn, bro. <laughs> it's kind of perfect. That's what I'm saying, dude. I came out perfect with that. That's it really, my. <laughs> bro, it really like. Oh my god, bro. It's like fluffy, perfect on the inside. It's crunchy on the outside. Yeah, where it's got like a perfect amount of pumpkinness, where it's not like too much overwhelming. Not too much. Like, you know. Yeah. It's still sweet. But it's like, you could tell it's still pumpkin bread. Yeah, it's fire. Perfect, bro. <laughs> perfect, holy shit, I love it. It's hard. I ain't never had nothing like this. It is hard, bro. Yeah, I ain't never, bro. Top 10. <laughs> uh, you're baking all the bread. <laughs> this has been an episode of Vander Cooks, and I'll see you next time.